What can entrepreneurs learn from Mary Kay Ash, the creator of Mary Kay Cosmetics? We're going to talk about that in just a second. Hey, folks, I'm Kimberly Crow, the creator of Entrepreneurs Rocket Fuel and the co-host of Speakers Playhouse. I'm very excited today to talk to you about Mary Kay Ash. This woman was really, really powerful and had some great life lessons that all kinds of entrepreneurs can use. And she was extremely successful as an entrepreneur herself. Number one is that people matter. So it is not necessarily about your program products or services as much as it is the people that you serve. Who out there are you serving that needs your products, programs, and services? What are they all about? What do they need to do? Oftentimes they're told that they're doing things wrong or that they need to correct or they need to follow this or just follow this one process and you're going to get it all right. She is very passionate about helping people know that what they're doing right now, they matter. They matter as a person with all of their strengths, all of their weaknesses, and all of their in-betweens, right? We all have strengths, we have weaknesses, and we have some stuff in between that we're working on and people really matter. So if you keep your focus when you're building your programs, products, and services, the people that you're serving, whatever you're doing, it's going to be more amazing because you are focused on people rather than what you have to offer. You're focused on them. Number two, be enthusiastic. One of the great things about Mary Kay is that she had groups for her salespeople that were out there in the field. And as a Mary Kay cosmetic salesperson, you were knocking on doors and hoping to get a meeting with the person and demonstrating lipstick. And then you were working on your own. You were creating your own entrepreneurship within the Mary Kay cosmetic community. And they created systems around that to support each other. So they would have group meetings where they could cheer each other on. And whatever you were doing that week, they were going to applaud you to success. So maybe you were like, you know what? I couldn't get out of bed, but two days this week, and I went to knock on four doors and everybody shut me down. And they'd be like, cheering you on. Great job. You did something. You got out of bed. You tried. You made an effort. Great job. And they would just applaud their people to success. And that applause really was what the women needed in order to create their success. Then secondly, they went and applauded other people and they were like watching other people have success and applauding them. And actually the act of cheering other people on helps you feel successful as well. Number three, exercise a little bit of consistency, no matter what that looks like to you. She had a great quote. I'm going to read it to you. It says, over the years, I've observed that nearly all high achievers know how to make good of those 1,440 minutes each day. That is really powerful statement from one of the most famous women entrepreneurs out there. And she's right. Like know how to make good use of them. What is good use to you? Is it making sure that you put out a video every single week? Is it making sure that you make those phone calls out to your existing customers? Is it making sure that you make those connections with your new customers? Is it promoting on social media? Is it making sure that your email campaigns are out there? Is it connecting with your friends or your family? Is it spending time with your parents? Is it making that phone call to your mom every single week or at least once a month or whatever it is. By the way, if you're my son, you need to call me. I haven't heard from you in a while. Love you to pieces. Okay. So whatever it is for you, make sure that you're using your 1,440 minutes per day as effectively as possible for you. Make sure that you're making the most of it so that you can be a high achiever as well. All right. So those are lessons that we can learn from Mary Kay Ash, the founder of Mary Kay Cosmetics. Hopefully this was helpful for you. If you are an entrepreneur looking to get your message heard, please come join us at Speakers Playhouse. It is a gamified fun networking event because I'm all about fun. If it's not fun, it's not worth doing. Come join us on Thursdays. Check out Speakers Playhouse. It's completely free every single Thursday live from 1030 a.m. until noon. Come check it out. I'm Kimberly Crow. We'll see you next time. Cheers. If you haven't already subscribed, smash the subscribe button right now and get new information from me just about every single week this summer. We'd be happy to have you join. And then please share and like and comment below. Folks, I'm Kimberly Crow with Entrepreneurs Rocket Fuel, and I look forward to working with you. Cheers.